Well, this school year, Aurora Grande High School has a new set of eyes designed to keep students safe on campus. KSBY News reporter Brooke Martell joins us now live from the campus with more. Brooke? Well, Karina, we're talking about security cameras. Now, while the school has had them for the past 11 years, over the summer they were upgraded to be more widespread and more high tech, but not everyone is happy with them. High definition cameras watch over the Arroyo Grande High School campus. The camera system was recently upgraded under another set of watchful eyes, the Arroyo Grande Police Department. One school faculty member believes the cameras violate the California Education Code. Physical education teacher James Gross filed a crime report with the police department, according to Arroyo Grande Police Chief Bo Pryor. Gross, police said, alleged the district was committing a crime by using the cameras. So police looked into it and tell KSBY the district committed no such crime. Our campus is used 24-7 all the time, whether it's community events, weekend, and so that uh, because of its openness, it's nice to have these cameras on campus as well, just not only during the school day, but outside the school day and on weekends. Uh, as well. Principal Dan Neff did not comment on the crime report, but ensured the nearly 50 cameras on campus are used for safety purposes. Most of them are on the outside. We do have one in the NPR. We have one in the gym. We do have one in our, in our math hallway. You know, students say they, they've told me on a number of occasions they feel safer. They feel it's more of a, a deterrent. They, they like that it's there. Um, and so, you know, the reception has been positive about it. KSBY also worked to confirm if James Gross is still working here at the high school following filing that crime report. However, the district responded saying that they can't comment on personnel issues. Reporting live and local in Arroyo Grande, I'm Brooke Martell, KSBY News. All right, pretty interesting. Thank you for that, Brooke.